What's up guys? Today we're going to make a gold trap so come along. I hope you enjoy this short little video I've got for you. So I've gone ahead and I've pre-cut everything that I'm going to need to make this gold trap. I've gotten two of these end caps, PVC end caps from the Bunnings warehouse and I've pre-drilled a hole in the end of one so I could slip uh, whichever desired piece of piping through it and this is going to be your, your vacuum end basically this is where you're going to suck up all your material through so I've pre-drilled it and just got it sitting roughly in place so I can take that out whenever I want adjust it and, and all that sort of stuff um, I've pre-cut two pieces and put a couple of slits in now these pieces here will fit over the end of the yabby pump itself and we will use a clip like so to clamp it down nice and tight but we'll get to that soon and just another piece of same diameter PVC pipe as these two which is going to go on here like that so I'll get to gluing oh, and the glue we're going to use is just plumbers plumbers glue so it's pretty pretty cheap easy little gold trap to make so first of all I want to take my bigger piece of PVC pipe feed it down and just sort of Check, make sure everything's going to fit right before I add some glue. So we'll get a bit of glue on here. And we're just going to run a bead around the edge of that, like so. And that will go like that, just like that. Alright, so that's step one, done. Pretty basic. And you want this piece, it doesn't matter if it moves around, we'll fix that problem later. So, now for step two. We want to get a bit of angled piping, or T junction or Y junction, whichever you want to call it, and we want to sit it in like so. So we've pretty much got our sucker nozzle, one gold trap here, and the start of a second gold trap coming off this end, and we'll have our yabby pump connected off here. So what I'll do is I'll leave this as one piece like that and I will glue my next piece into this section here which will go up into this piece and that will be basically like that and then I'm just going to leave this cap loose and that cap will just basically plug the end and that's going to be my second gold trap so what we will do is glue this piece to this piece I'll tell you what guys there are some flies hanging around today so a bit of glue and we just want to feed that on like so so now we got Step two completed, step one completed. All right, now step three, we're going to glue this piece into here like so. So your piece will and eventually look like that. So I'll do that now. Speed around there. Right. 
and we'll just clean it up with my finger roughly doesn't have to look pretty guys it just has to work that's the main thing all right so that's the second piece completed now so this piece will be glued to here this piece will be glued to here and this piece is just gonna be sitting free we're just gonna sit that in place like that if you look closely We've got a nice decent gap running down there so what I'm going to do is off camera I'm going to get my liquid nails and I'm going to blob it right down there down to the bottom and maybe get a bit of a metal rod and just pack it in there nice and nice and tight. doesn't have to look pretty guys it's just got to seal the bottom and hold this pipe. Alright so we've gotten that pretty well glued up if ugly was pretty this would be a 10 out of 10 but it's gonna work that's for sure so not really fussed so I made a bit of a mess down there but I don't really care the material will sort of wear it out over time and clean it out now I just want to put them two together like so the one thing I will show you is though you see my pipe I got this pipe running downwards the material will come up run down this this here and then it's going to hit this pipe and start traveling back out this one so we just want to move that to the top so your material can come down go through down through there and drop into this chamber as well as down and around this pipe in here into this chamber so it's basically we're doing a double gold trap here so now that that's set out like that I'm gonna leave this for 24 hours to let that liquid nail set and then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll test it out and see exactly how well it works all right now that we got this one all pieced together, glued up, I made a mess of that glue job. If ugly was pretty, this, this gold trap would be a 10 out of 10. So what I'll do now is, this is the end of my Yabby pump. We got a clip and we're just going to slide that in like so don't want to go in too far too guys you want the tip of it to come to about here somewhere and we're gonna, gonna put that on like so you don't want the tip of this yabby pump to go much further past these grooves you've cut in so I usually sit at about here or so and we'll we'll tighten this up and that's done thought I'll throw a bit of material into this bucket and show you how it works you want to keep this facing downwards towards the water and you just stick your nozzle in Oh, hang on. There we go. And you, as you suck it back, you just want to let your material. You want to let before you. Force, force your plunger back down you want to let your material just slide down the chamber and drop into your gold traps before you push the water out but now that water's drained we push the nozzle back down or the plunger back down sorry and that's working beautiful Now, 
to clean your gold trap out, all you'd have to do, take that off over a bucket, clean it out, take that off, give that a rinse out. Once that's cleaned out a bit, you just put it back together like so and stick it back down into your crevices and start going again. And that's pretty much it guys. The homemade gold trap. Yeah, so that's pretty well how I make all my Yabby Pump gold traps. You just make one of these, you'll never use a Yabby Pump without one. I can promise you that. So if you like this video, definitely subscribe. Don't forget to click that like button. And until next time, guys, peace.